for today's infant oral health care. As soon as we talk about infant oral health care, the main concern about parents is regarding teething. When are teeth coming? Why is it still not come? Or if it has come early and all, uh, and all stuff. So uh, teething is mostly as a process, it starts at around six months, but it is not constant. It, there is a huge range of variation. And as a pediatric dentist, unless the child is about one year old, we are not very concerned if teeth are not there in the mouth as of yet. Even in such a case, if you have a doubt, you should visit a pediatric dentist. By just palpating the gum pads or viewing the gum pads, we'll be able to make out if the teeth are there or not and if they further re require any radiographic examination or not. So coming to the teeth which are already present. Uh, sir, one second. Uh, yeah, the main uh, concern with primary teeth as pediatric dentists, which we face is early childhood caries. This is a devastating condition which we see very commonly now because of the diet which children have as well as the lack of brushing habits. So this starts as soon as the first tooth erupts in the mouth. It's due to the adverse conditions which build up over time that as, as soon as 10 months we see children who are having this condition. This condition can be identified just by white spots in the early stages. At this stage, if you are identified, you can completely reverse the condition. But as it progresses further, when you develop yellow spots and when there's involvement of all the teeth, it's very difficult to reverse it easily. So the cause is basically the bacteria which is transmitted from the mother. And this kind of transmission happens by kissing the child on the mouth and also by tasting the utensils or spoons which are used to uh, feed the child. The most critical period in which this transmission happens is at the time of tooth eruption. So maternal oral health is very important to ensure the oral health of the child. And uh, coming to the prevention of this uh, dental caries, the most important step would also be to prevent the transmission from the caregiver and also to early have early diagnosis. For early diagnosis, we recommend lift the lip technique. That is, even parents can follow this technique where they just lift the lip to examine the front teeth if they are having any carious lesions. Apart from that, internally we can strengthen the tooth structure so that it is less prone to developing caries. And also we can make small changes in the diet to reduce the sugar consumption, especially in between meals. So the first step in prevention which we recommend is using fluoridated toothpaste. This is a very common misconception that children should not use toothpaste. If we see the current recommendations, uh, the use of fluoride toothpaste has a significant improvement in preventing dental caries. The amount is critical because we don't want to expose the children to too much of fluoride at a young age. Even as soon as the first tooth erupts, we can start using a smear of fluoride toothpaste. We can see the comparison to a single rice grain to indicate the size of the fluoride which has to be used. This is for up to three years, this much of toothpaste is enough and twice daily brushing is mandatory. Uh, if we take a region like the UAE, it is a fluoride deficient region. The fluoride level in the water is very low. So using fluoride toothpaste at a young age will have a beneficial effect in preventing cake. Second thing is, do not delay visiting your dentist until you develop symptoms. Ideally, within six months of eruption of the first tooth, we recommend that a dentist, pediatric dentist should be visited. So why do we recommend fluoride toothpaste? Is Fluoride is something which strengthens the tooth structure from within. As soon as the tooth comes into the mouth, it is not mature. It is very porous, so cavities happen very fast. If there is this ingredient called sodium fluoride or stannous fluoride in your toothpaste, it will strengthen the tooth and prevent dental caries from developing. So there's a small video in which we can just see, even before the tooth eruption, how we can clean the gum pads. How to clean a baby's gums. Although your baby's toothless grin is adorable, bacteria can build up on her gums. So it's important to keep them clean even before those first pearly whites pop through. You will need a baby with a toothless grin, 
a washcloth, and some cool water. Step one, soak the washcloth in cool water and wring it out until it's just damp. Step two, wrap the damp cloth around your finger. Step three, gently run the cloth over the surface of your baby's gums. Make sure to swipe both the upper and lower surfaces. You shouldn't have any trouble squeezing your finger past your baby's lips, but if you do, so as we saw in this video, all we need is a clean washcloth and probably sterile water. Just dip the washcloth in the water and wipe the gum pads even before the tooth erupts. This will help to prevent the bacteria from colonizing the mouth at a very early stage. Uh, the next slide is for slightly older infants. How do we brush the teeth? Before the tooth erupts, using a washcloth is just enough or you can just use a sterile gauze also. But once the tooth starts erupting, it's better to use something which is a little bit more abrasive like a finger toothbrush or even an infant toothbrush. And as I said before, especially in a fluoride deficient region like the tooth UAE, is one of the better most to use a fluoride diseases. toothpaste. Almost half of children develop tooth decay in their baby teeth. Good oral care can prevent decay. It's best to start early, at about three months, by wiping their gums gently with a clean, damp face cloth after every feeding. And using a toothbrush as soon as your child's first tooth appears. Brush their teeth at least twice a day, first thing in the morning and right before bed. Most children like to brush their own teeth. Encourage them, but do a follow-up brushing yourself. Use a small toothbrush with soft, rounded bristles. Until your child is three years old, you probably don't need to use toothpaste unless your dentist recommends it. If your dentist does suggest using toothpaste, use only a small amount of fluoridated toothpaste the size of a grain of rice. When your child is over three, smear a thin amount of regular toothpaste on the tips of the bristles. At a 45 degree angle, start brushing where the gums meet the teeth. Make sure you teach him to brush the fronts, backs, and tops of each tooth and keep the pressure gentle. Brushing too uh, from this picture, we can make out that the best position to brush a child's teeth is not from the front or making the child sleep. Especially at this age, the gag reflex in children is very high. So if you make a child sleep and you put some paste in the brush and you try to brush the child, they were obviously going to have a negative attitude towards brushing. So it's better to have the child seated on the lap, like in this picture, with the child's face resting on your chest. And then from the back, we can brush the teeth. This is especially helpful if you're facing a mirror. So even the child gets an idea about what you're trying to do with his teeth. Uh, the second factor which is very important for dental caries is diet. So diet in the first few months, especially in the first one year of life as dentists, we definitely recommend that do not give anything except for water or milk in the feeding bottle. And once the tooth erupts, it's better to try to put a stop to nighttime feeding or ad libitum best feeding. And um, using a washcloth after every meal might not be possible, but at night before the child goes to sleep, definitely use a washcloth or a finger brush to clean the surfaces of the teeth. Using juice or giving juice to young children is not recommended, especially up the first year of life. Even after that, maximum half cup of very dilute juice can be given, but it's not a replacement for giving fruit itself. And uh, last but not the least, as I said before, uh, I would say the first dental visit should be within six months of eruption of the first tooth in the mouth. This way you can identify any problem early even if it develops. If caries develops, if you see that your child is having white spots or brown spots on his teeth, do do not wait till the child is symptomatic or she's telling that there is food getting stuck, is developing pain because there is something called as a silver diamine fluoride application. With that, even in the early stages of dental caries, we can just arrest the caries and prevent it from progressing further. This will be a simple chair side procedure taking as much as five minutes of time. However, if we wait for a longer time until the patient is symptomatic, he might require treatment under sedation or GA. So to avoid this, it's best to have the first visit by the first birthday of the child.
Thank you.